Each year, 30,000 young girls come here hoping, dreaming, praying for that one break, that one opportunity, that one part in a Broadway show that might mean ultimate stardom. But there are less than 200 shows cast each season, and of those less than 200 shows, only a possible 16 parts that any of those 30,000 girls can play. Now here we see a stage where just such a part has been cast. One of these lovely young ladies has surmounted the insurmountable odds. But which one? I think, perhaps, it's that girl. I heard yelling. It was me. Oh. oh. Donald, you'll never guess what I did. Well, you put a floor lamp in front of the door. Something more important than that. I got a Broadway show. I got a part in a Broadway show. Broadway? Honey, you gonna be on Broadway? Uh, isn't it exciting? On Broadway, not off Broadway. Uh, no side streets, no corners, right smack on Broadway. And that is terrific. That's terrific. It's, it's a mystery comedy, and it's called An Everything Nice. Honey, honey, that is great. That is just great. Yeah, isn't it? Oh, oh Donald, that stays there. What stays where? Yeah, it stays in front of the door. That's my street lamp. It shines through my French doors. Which French doors? The ones you knocked over. Oh, I'm sorry. Honey, what are you talking about? Well, you see, this is a street corner, just like at the theater. You mean it stays here like this all the time? Uh-huh. See, I thought by living in the set, by the time I got on the stage, I'd be right at ease. Good thing you're not doing lifeboat. Oh, Donald, I'm so excited. This is a part I can really get my teeth into. Isn't it unbelievable? Me on Broadway. Unbelievable, honey. Absolutely unbelievable. It isn't that unbelievable. <laughs> honey, I knew it would happen for you sooner or later. Excuse me. Who belongs inside of that? That's Uncle Tyrone. He dies in the first scene of the first act. I hope you last longer than that. Oh, I do. I'm the one. I'm the killer. You are playing the butler? Donna, will you be serious? You want some coffee? Yeah, thank you. Honey, I'm proud of you. I'm really proud of you. When are you going to start? Well, it all starts in a week, but I, I get my script on Tuesday, then meet the rest of the cast on Wednesday, then Friday we start four weeks rehearsal. What's the matter? In Philadelphia. Philadelphia? Yeah, well, you see, we, we open there and play for two weeks. Oh, Donald. And then? And then, and then two weeks in Boston. Boston. And a week in New Haven. Whatever happened to Broadway? Then Broadway. Welcome home. <laughs> You're angry. No, no, I'm not angry. Then why do you look so funny? Well, I'm lonesome. You've been gone ten weeks. That settles it. I'm not going. Now, come on, now, of course you're going. You don't want me to go. I didn't say that. I can tell by that heartbroken look on your face. Well, forget it. Look, I'm tickled to death for you. Of course I want you to go. It's going to be a great experience. And ten weeks, what's ten weeks that go by just like that? I don't believe you. Well, look at my face. Smiling and happy. I liked you better when you were heartbroken and lonesome. Honey, you want to go, don't you? Well, yeah, but... Well, then what do you want me to say? Well, I want you to say something like, I forbid it. I won't allow your career to come between us. That's exactly it. I don't want your career to come between us. That's why I won't forbid it. Well, I just want you to say it. I don't want you to mean it. I'm going to miss you. Every single second you're gone. Why didn't you say that before? 
like to get personal in front of strangers. <laughs> Taxi! Why don't we walk? Save your strength to celebrate. Taxi! Where are we gonna go for dinner? Wherever you wanna go. Tonight is your night. Wine, candlelight, violins, I'm telling you, wherever you wanna go. I don't wanna go to dinner in a taxi. Why not? When I was eight years old, my father took me in a taxi to a big drugstore and ordered me a big hot fudge sundae with lots of whipped cream and nuts and cherries and extra hot fudge. So what? The next morning, I had my tonsils out. <laughs> <laughs> well, the operation isn't for another week, so let's look on the bright side till then. There's always another side to every bright side. It's a taxi! Hey, cab! Cab! <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to get a taxi for 10 weeks? You know, it's funny, Donald. All the time we've known each other, we've never really been out dancing. It was a great idea. And you know what? I think we ought to do it more often. Mm -hmm. I'll be gone. I mean, when you get back. Donald, what if you want to go out dancing before I get back? I'll wait. Well, what if you can't wait? I mean, what if you have this irresistible urge to go out dancing? Honey, I've never had an irresistible urge I couldn't resist. Don, what are you going to do while I'm away? Run up my phone bill with long-distance calls. You know what I mean. I don't think about it. You're thinking about it. I can tell the way your eyebrows are wiggling. My eyebrows are wiggling because I'm starving. Here. Ooh, the whole thing's in French. Except for the prices. They're in English. Forget about it. Tonight we're celebrating the sky's the limit. But I hear they have a great grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> yeah, water? How much? Huh? We'll take two with ice. Okay. Now I'd like to make a toast. Oh, Donald, it's very bad luck to make a toast with water. Well, you wanted to save money. Come on, toast. May you have the longest run of any play in history. That's seven years. You're kidding. No. Life with Father ran from 1941 to 48. Huh. Maybe you ought to go out a little while I'm gone. <laughs> I'll tell you what. If I get sick... Miserable and lonely from missing you so much. I'll make a few calls. You can at least wait till I'm out of town before you start making your plans. Honey, I am making no plans of any kind. Oh, good. Me either. Donald, why don't we take a solemn oath not to see anybody else until I get back? <laughs> Honey, we don't have to take an oath. Why? Don't you like to do anything together anymore? <laughs> What they say, absence makes the heart grow fonder. They also say out of sight, out of mind. They don't say that when two people love each other. I remember English lit Frederick William Thomas. Absence conquers love. That happens to be my best subject. Quote, it is said that absence conquers love, but oh, believe it not. I've tried, alas, its power to prove. But thou art not forgot. Oh, that's beautiful. I should have read the whole thing. It's also true. I think I know why we're going to miss each other so much. Why? Because we see each other so much. That's right. That's right. And if we'd never met, we wouldn't miss each other at all. Oh, Donald, I'm so miserable. Oh, honey, look, the thing to do is to put it out of your head. You know, I've been thinking. Maybe if we saw each other a few minutes less each day, by the time I left, we'd hardly miss each other at all. Oh, honey, you're not serious. It worked when I gave up chocolates. <laughs> Look, I've been doing some thinking, too. I'm gonna take a week off so we can see more of each other. Oh, that's even better. Now, listen, we'll have ourselves a real holiday, just like a couple of tourists. We'll do everything and we'll go everywhere. Oh, that's terrific. You know, there are a lot of places in New York I haven't even seen yet. You know that I've never been to the top of the Empire State Building? We'll do it. And the Statue of Liberty, ever been there? Oh, once when I was 13, but I only got as far as the knee and then I got a nosebleed. Honey, nobody gets a nosebleed going up the Statue of Liberty. If they trip and smash the nose against the stairs, they do. That's because you weren't looking where you were going. <laughs>
But tomorrow you will be, because we're going to go to the zoo, the museum, the theater, Coney Island. Oh, the Staten Island Ferry. Uh, honey, it'll be a week you'll never forget for as long as you live. I promise. I promise, too, honey. It'll take you ten weeks to remember it all. <laughs> I'll make all the arrangements. Okay. I'll pick you up first thing in the morning. Okay. I get plenty of rest. Honey, we're going to have a ball. <laughs> Donald. Huh? I've never been so happy about being miserable in my whole life. <laughs> Come on, let's go, let's go. Hi, Donald. Hi, you ready? What's the rush? You're on vacation. Yeah, but I don't want to be late. Come on, I'll race you to the elevator. On your mark. Get set. Oh, Donald, the door. Oh, oh, yeah. Go! Wait, 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 wait. That's not fair.
<laughs> it was a wonderful day. If I'd known it was this much fun, I'd go away for ten weeks every day. I promised you excitement, and excitement's what you're gonna get. Tomorrow, Grant's tomb. Oh, and in the morning, the Statue of Liberty. Right. Good night. Good night. Sleep quick. You too. <laughs> It's been a long day, and we have another big day tomorrow. You know, we only have three days left. <laughs> Time sure flies when you're having fun. Yeah. Good night. Donald, what's the matter? Uh, uh, my, my foot 
fell asleep. While you were kissing me? Oh, well, it's nothing personal. I just think that's kind of rude. I'm sorry. It's okay. Where do we go? When? Tomorrow. Oh, five or six places. Are there five or six places left? Always. Anything to walk in. Well, you've got a big day ahead of us. Wonderful. Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll just sit here on the couch a minute while you're getting ready. <laughs> Donald. Ready when you are. Is my purse out there? This is Donald. I can't find my purse. Uh, which one is it? It's the one that I... <laughs> I found. Well, that's a blast off. I'm right behind you. <laughs> I don't think you're having a very good time. Well, you opened the closet door. I wanted to get my coat. Oh. And didn't we want to spend this week together so that after you left, we'd both have a lot of wonderful memories? I don't remember. Hey, I don't even remember how I got here this morning. Well, we certainly have seen a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, but there are a lot of places we haven't seen yet, and you're you're leaving tomorrow. I know. Honey, would you mind very much if I just looked at you for the rest of the day? I'd appreciate it. <laughs> Don't be silly. After all we've been through, you're going. Thank you. Donald. Donald, I want you to know that I'm going to be the same person after Philadelphia, Washington, and Boston that I am right now. The very same exact person. I know that, honey. You too? The very same. That's it. That's me, Mom. My train's leaving. Oh, all right, honey. All right. Now, don't cry, okay? I'm gonna miss you, Don. I'm gonna miss you, too, honey. Don't forget you promised to write every day. I'll be at the Hotel Barclay in Philadelphia. Excuse me, ma'am. You won't get to Philadelphia on this train. That's the train to Philadelphia. Oh, no! Don, I'm gonna miss my train! Oh, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, come on. Okay, now, be careful. You all right? Take care of yourself. Honey, you take care of yourself. I will. Okay. Donna, wait, get the 